the other day, my friend Stephen asked me, do I know how to make infinitely scrolling text in After Effects? And I said, yes, I do. This is what we're going to be making. So it's just text that goes from left to right forever. You can make this timeline as long as you like and it will never stop. I'm going to make a brand new project, brand new composition in that project. It's just 19, 20 pixels wide and that's important. We're going to come back to that in a minute. And I'll just drop in a nice blue background. I'm going to put some text in here and I will put that. It doesn't matter exactly where it goes at the moment. I'm going to put that there. And now I'll duplicate that by typing Command D or Control D if you're on Windows. And now I'm going to move that exactly the width of the composition to the right. So we know that it's 1920 pixels. I'm going to type a P. It's going to expose the position property and I'll click once on this one, which is the X, which is horizontal. And I'll type a right arrow to get to the end of that and plus 1920, which is the width of our comp. Press enter or just click somewhere off. And now we can see that there's a duplicate and it's off, obviously off the stage, but we know that it's there. And that's going to be the one that fills in the gap as it keeps scrolling. Now, the next thing to do is I will right click somewhere on my comp timeline window here. Uh, in the empty space, I'll right click, go up to new and make a null object. A null object is something that doesn't render, but we can use it to move other things around. In this instance, we want to, I'm going to drag that to the top and we're going to make these two, the parents of these two layers, our text layers, that null object. So I'm going to select both of those and under this, you could use the pick whip or I'm going to use the pop-up menu here, select null one. Now they're both parented to null one, which means if we move null one around, then both of those layers move with it. Now I will select the null one. I'm going to type P to expose the property again, and I'm going to click the stopwatch on position, which is going to set a keyframe. Now move the playhead to, let's say four seconds. That's how long it's going to take to scroll. And it's exactly four seconds I can see over here. And now I will click once on the number and I'm going to type a right arrow to get to the end of the number. And this time I want to subtract 1920, exactly the width of the stage, which is going to pull everything over to the left and effectively is going to scroll it. So it looks like nothing's happened, but then if I drag in the timeline, you can see that it's scrolling from this keyframe over to this keyframe. And importantly, the text is in exactly the same place. If we click on that keyframe or that keyframe, the text is in precisely the same place. Okay, time to make a sub comp or pre comp, whatever you call it. Okay, click on null one and I'm gonna hold down shift and click down here, which is gonna select null one and our two text layers. Right click on any of those and choose pre compose. That's gonna put them all in a brand new shiny pre comp. I'm gonna give it a name, I'll call it scrolling text and oh, I've got open new composition open here and um, hit OK. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to type P again so that I can see my keyframe. The play head is exactly on that keyframe which is good that's what we want. I'm just going to type N and that's going to make the work area going to bring the end of that work area down to exactly where my play head is. Now I'll right click on the work area and choose trim comp to work area. So before I do that, you can see that the overall duration of this now is 12 seconds. When I choose trim comp to work area, it becomes only four seconds long. So we've just trimmed off all that other stuff at the end that we don't want. So if I press play now, you can see it's scrolling exactly how we like, no problem. And if I come back to comp one, it's nicely trimmed down to that four second duration. The next trick, is to right click on the scrolling text layer. I'm going to go up to time and enable time remapping. Now that's automatically extended the duration out, but if I drag over it now, it disappears when it gets to that keyframe. That's because it's not actually looping yet. What I want to do is make sure that the playhead is exactly lined up with this keyframe. So I, it's to the right of the keyframe at the moment. If I press this button to the left, of the keyframe, add and remove keyframe button, it'll move the playhead so that it's exactly on that keyframe. And I can tell that it's exactly on the keyframe because now that red, that little diamond is filled in. 
I'm going to hold down Option, Alt on Windows and click that stopwatch and that will open up the expression editor. That's a little bit of JavaScript but don't be scared, we're not going to do much. I will type L-O-O -O and it's automatically trying to guess what I'm trying to type. I'm going to click on loop out, or we'll double click on it actually, and then click somewhere down here just to deselect that. Now, the last trick, it's still blank here. I just want to go one frame to the left. There's a couple of ways to do that. I can just type a page up key once, and or if, it, if you're on a Mac, you can type command left, and then I'm going to drop a keyframe in in this new spot, which is exactly four seconds. Put a keyframe there, go to the next keyframe, and then I'm just gonna delete it by clicking on that arrow. It will take away that keyframe. And now, when I scroll, you can see that the text loops, and so we get infinite scrolling. The one thing that I'm not crazy about is this big gap here. So the text is still editable, but I want to make it a little bit bigger to get rid of that gap. So I'm just gonna go back to the subcomp, the pre-comp scrolling text, I'm going to select my two text layers and now I'm just going to drag the size up a little bit so that they're both getting bigger. And now when I go back to comp one, you can see it's taken out ooh, maybe even a little bit, a little bit bigger just to get rid of that space in there and make it look there. Okay, good. And now it scrolls forever and ever and ever. And I can prove that by making the duration of this whole comp something ridiculously long like two hours zoom all the way out and if I select all and then hold down option and type a right square bracket to make them the duration of the entire composition even at 45 minutes or an hour and a half it's still scrolling happily away it's never going to give up it's never going to surrender we'll just undo to go back to where we were. One more thing to note is that you can now change the speed of the scrolling just by dragging out the second keyframe. So if I wanted to slow it down, I can drag it all the way out here and you can see that it's gonna slow, slowly scroll from left to right. And when it gets to here, it's still gonna seamlessly loop. There's gonna be no problem and we can change the scrolling speed very easily by just dragging out that keyframe. And that's it, infinitely scrolling text, looping out. I hope that was helpful. Please don't be alarmed by the little plaster on the side of my head. It's going to go soon. If you found it helpful, give it a like and a subscribe and we'll see you next time.